everybody, I'm your man Dennis Pitzenberger here 2018 SEMA with my man August Cedarstrand from Edelbrock. Always good to see you. Likewise. Always good to look you dead in the eye, my friend. How you doing? And it's always good to look down on you too, Dennis. <laughs> you guys always know how to put performance together, yes, but you know what? I am not a diesel owner. Nor, nor have I ever been a diesel owner, but for those out there that know how much power, what good they can do for towing and getting that race trailer or whatever it is down the road, diesels are a marketplace for you guys to dive into. New heads for the Duramax, tell me about them. Yes, sir. Well, you know, Edelbrock traditionally, we're performance, right? We'll see a market niche and we go for it. Duramax has been around since 2001. 6.6 .6 liter V8, it's an extremely reliable, durable engine. A lot of people think of diesels as the old workhorse engine. Oh no, not now. Diesel drag racing, truck pulls, you name it. Even offshore racing boats, diesel, they, they beat everybody. We saw a hole in the market to make a cylinder in, and that's what we've done. Well, August, that's what you do. That market niche and looking for a solution to a problem. But give me the overall tour of this new Edelbrock product. You got it, Dennis. We started with a clean sheet of paper, technically, with the CAD program, all right? Duramax, very durable, it's known for its heavy duty capability, all right? And we're known for going in and taking a cylinder and making it better. We start with our casting, again, like most products, A365 aluminum that we pour in our own foundry. From there, it gets heat treated. Now, most heads are heat treated to T6. This one's heat treated to Rockwell T7, which seasons the casting, so to speak. So it's, a, it's an aging process. That's essentially what these heads are out of the box. They're a seasoned head. But not only are they heat treated to T7, we also hip the heads too. Once you do that, that gets rid of all those little voids in the crystalline structure, the all the outgassing, everything to have a very dense, very compact, very strong head. It almost machines like a billet at that point. And what is the true advantage to the gentleman out there building a Duramax? What is that advantage of all that process that you're doing between the T7 and the hip? What is the, what is the real advantage to the owner of this new cylinder head? Okay, a guy who's got a bone stock Duramax, he needs a replacement head, we've got a solution for him, all right? It's 50 state smog legal. We just got our calibration from the state of California. So it's a direct bolt on. All his stock accessories go back on, all his rocker gear, valve covers, you name it. All goes back on his head. Even the early LB7 motors had that integrated injector cup that would back out and leak. We've gotten rid of that. We have a machined in cup with an O-ring seal on it the whole bit. So our one casting that we make covers all four of the generations of the Duramax engine. We just have to machine it accordingly. Let's talk about the performance capabilities of this head. Now you've already said it's a bolt-on part and has all the performance and all the advantages of your technology and your R&D. Let's talk about the capabilities because where there is some power, there is always more power to be made. As you know, Duramaxes are also popular in racing, okay? This cylinder head, we've made it a lot stronger. The deck, for instance, 16 millimeters thick, a lot thicker than the original. We took the valve cover valley roof, raised that up. Now, all the springs and everything else are in the same location, all right? But by raising the roof, we've increased the water capability on it, so the cooling capability on the cylinder head. Again, we have the hip treatment, the T7. We have slightly larger valves in it than stock. Plus, we've taken the valves themselves and moved them. The valve tips are in the same location, but the valve heads are moved in slightly to increase swirl effect and flow on it. We've left a ton of material in the cylinder head for porting, polishing, so on and so forth. We have guys that are having these on engines that are putting out 100 PSI to 130 PSI in our boost now. So for the performance guy, yes, it's it's night and day. Airflow wise, our, our head as cast versus the stock Duramax flows 23% more across the board in terms of just plain airflow. Well, August, as always, a great new product for a place in the market that needs to be addressed. And you know what? Sure. It makes me want to think, maybe I should sell the big block out of the old Suburban and buy a used uh, Duramax? Not a bad way to go. You wouldn't regret it. You'd be doing burnouts all day long. <laughs> As always, where do people need to know to go to find out the great products and all the great information on this new Duramax head? Where do they send them? Edelbrock.com. You heard the man right here, SEMA 2018. I am Dennis Pitzenbarger with August. This is Power Auto Media.